Hello, Midlakes parents. My name is Scott Monagal. I'm a special education teacher here in the high school. I specifically work with ninth grade students. I co-teach earth science with Mr. Goldberg two periods a day. I also co-teach Global 9 or World History 9 with Ms. Hungerford two periods a day. And then I teach my own special class, earth science as well. Uh, I just wanna say thank you for all the support you guys are giving. I know it's a difficult time. Uh, and you guys are, are doing a great job of, of helping your students succeed. So thank you very much for that. So I take a few minutes to talk about uh, my sp uh, self-contained special class earth science, uh, some of the expectations I have for the students in that class. So I'm gonna bring up a PowerPoint here uh, that I shared with the students on the first day, but has some uh, great information for them as well as you on what our class looks like. So earth science uh, is taught by myself, and then we have a teaching assistant in the room, uh, Mrs. Shepard, her and I have worked together before. She's wonderful with the kids. Uh, if you haven't heard about her yet, I'm sure you will uh, at some point this year. So what can your students expect when they come to uh, my class? So the first one is to be on time. Uh, that's just a simple idea. We want to start the class on time. We have a lot of information to get through, and just being on time helps to to have a great start to that day. To be respectful of the staff to other students, we're respectful to them, we expect the same in return. Minimal homework, they love hearing this. Uh, with this new block scheduling and 88 minute classes, uh, we usually have enough time to get through uh, the information, the lecture type, the notes, and then have time to finish the classwork. Uh, if there is homework, it's very minimal. Really, the only thing they're going to have is to study for any tests or quizzes that they might have coming up. We're going to do a variety of activities related to earth science. Uh, we're doing a lot with the iPads this year, uh, interacting with those. Uh, we use videos to help reinforce what we've learned. Uh, we're taking our notes on our iPads this year, uh, which gives them access to them 24-7. So I'm excited to see where uh, this transition to the digital uh, class goes. Labs, so this year's a little different. Uh, I usually like to do quite a few labs in groups, uh, but with the entire pandemic going on, we need to keep our social distancing. So labs are a little more difficult. Uh, we will do some labs that are virtual. Uh, they have some great things out there that the kids can do for virtual labs. Um, and then we'll do some labs where I demonstrate and the kids will you know, interact with comments and and answering questions and things like that. So stay tuned for some labs coming up soon. Daily objectives, uh, I post these so that the kids know exactly what we're going to learn about and what they should know by the time we finish that class. Uh, it really helps guide our learning and ensures that the objectives uh, for the class have been met for the day and then overall for the year. And then learning, we're gonna learn a lot about uh, earth science. Uh, I found in the past that earth science has some topics that kids really love and some topics that they may not be so crazy about, uh, but we're going to learn all together and maybe they'll find something new that they haven't liked before uh, and we'll learn to love it this year. So who am I? Uh, I'm married, I have three daughters, all of who go to Midlakes. Uh, my oldest is in seventh grade now and my youngest just started UBK. Uh, so I definitely have a vested interest in the district. Uh, I want my kids to have a, a great um, time through their, their years of school. And I wish the same for your kids too, as they come through here. So this is my 15th year at Midlakes, my 16th year teaching overall. Uh, I did teach one year at Cincinnati High School, which is down near Binghamton. And I've also completed uh, a half a year as a long-term substitute elementary teacher of fifth grade at Naples Elementary. So I've been at the game a while. Uh, and really, really love teaching. It was definitely my, my calling. On the side, when I have time, uh, I am the fire chief uh, at Port Gibson Fire Department. I'm also an EMT there. So that takes up most of the, the free time I have. When I do get away, I really enjoy camping. Uh, you can see in the pictures there, I, I have a camper um, up in the Tug Hill Plateau that we just put up there this year on about four acres of land. So we enjoy going up there and, and hanging out. I love to snowmobile, hence the reason I bought the camp. Um, Four-wheeling, hunting, riding motorcycles, uh, soccer, apple products, the kids will tell you uh, that I love apple stuff. Uh, just 
fascinated with it and how it works and talks to each other. And even though we have our difficulties sometimes with the iPads, uh, I still really like that the kids have those um, and can utilize those for their learning. Uh, here at school, I've coached boys varsity soccer. I did that for five years. Uh, we had an indoor drum line at one point. I did that for <clears throat> um, about 13 years here. Uh, we won several state championships. Uh, we even went to the uh, world championships out in Dayton, Ohio a couple times and finished in the, the top 25 of, of our class in the world. So that was kind of cool. <clears throat> and I'm currently coaching boys modified soccer. So I kind of picked it back up, uh, really enjoying getting back out on the field and, and working with the boys. I do have a Twitter. It's at Mr. Monagle. Um, I don't use it probably as much as I should, but feel free to follow. I usually post some stuff on on there about school and the fire department and things like that. So feel free to take a look at that if you want. So what are we gonna learn about this year in earth science? Well, these are all the topics that we're going to touch on. So we're just finishing up unit one on studying the earth. Next, we'll move into describing the earth, then the earth and moon system, the solar system, stars and galaxies, earth chemistry, minerals and rocks, the earth's atmosphere, which leads us into weather and climate, the Earth's water, weathering and erosion, forces in the Earth, and a record of the Earth's history. So <clears throat> lots of topics that we get through this year. I would say the solar system, stars and galaxies, weather and climate, those tend to be the most popular units that kids really gravitate towards. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to getting to those topics at some point this year. My cell phone policy. The students know they're to keep their phones away at all times. Uh, during class, we have the iPads that we can use, and we have been using those every class uh, to complete our work. If the cell phone becomes an issue, the first offense is just a verbal warning to put it away. The second offense, I take the phone for the period. And then in the third offense, the phone will go to the office. Uh, I don't think we're going to have any issues with that. We're now three weeks into school, and I have not once seen a phone uh, in my class. So very excited about that. Schoology. Uh, I'm sure you're hearing this over and over again, but this is the go-to for our class. Uh, assignments, labs, test dates will be posted in here. Links to materials such as notes, um, the videos from class instruction, and the class videos we use, any labs, they will all be posted inside Schoology. Uh, review games, I'll post review games before we have a test, and then any other important information that relates to the class. And I'm going to show you what our Schoology page looks like um, before I finish this video. So stay tuned. So what do the students need in my class? Well, they need their iPad, and it needs to be charged every day. We use it every day that we have class, OK? Uh, charger, if they have a spare one, would be great, just in case. Uh, pen and pencil, notebook, or loose paper, just for um, their drawings, or if they need to jot something down real quick, uh, might be easy to have something like that with them. Grading. So this is done by department. So the science department dictates what our grading looks like. So tests and quizzes account for 50% of the overall grade in the class. Labs are 30% and then classwork or homework makes up the remaining 20%. I also have a participation grade that I give each week and that falls under the classwork uh, portion of the grade. Restroom. Simple, you know, ask at an appropriate time only one person out at a time. This was my policy before the pandemic hit. And obviously now with that being said, we're only allowed to let one person go at a time to begin with. Mass breaks. All right. We will have mass breaks during class. I don't expect the students to sit there for 88 minutes straight uh, with masks on without any type of break. I have a hard time doing that and I know they do too. During a mass break, it's necessary for all of us to be seated and not moving around. That includes the adults in the room as well. Uh, we go to the back, we have a seat, the students are in front of us, we're all facing the same direction, and then I allow them to take, you know, anywhere between a five and 10 minute mass break uh, before we push on with our learning. We ask that the students don't set their masks on the desk, we want them to set it on their lap or just pull it down. This is just to ensure that there's no contamination of the mask when they put it on the desk. We do a good job of cleaning after each class. We wipe down all the desks, we disinfect it uh, to try to 
uh, curtail any type of uh, virus that might be on there, whether it's COVID or the flu or stomach bug or any of those things. Uh, so the best thing to do is just not set the mask on there. When it's nice out, we'll try to take time outside to spread out and take our masks off. With the leaves changing, we're going to get into some uh, discussion about observations and how a good scientist observes what's going around <clears throat> uh, or what's going on around them. So we'll take them outside to do some observation stuff. And this would be an appropriate time to spread out, you know, take a mask break, that type of thing. Obviously, once the colder weather gets here, we'll have to stay in the classroom. Uh, but for now, this seems to work uh, really well. If you need to get a hold of me, uh, email and Schoology are the best ways. Uh, my email is right there, asmonagal at midlakes.org. You can message me on Schoology. Uh, I have both my email and Schoology on my phone, so I get the messages immediately. Uh, unless I'm doing something with my kids or, you know, on a fire call or EMS call, uh, usually I can get back to you pretty quickly. Uh, if you want to give me a call, you can call uh, the school phone number 6300. My extension is 3151. You can leave a message. Obviously, I don't check them after I leave here for the day. Uh, so it might be the next morning before I get back to it and get the message. So again, if you really need to get a hold of me quickly, email or Schoology is by far the best way. So we're gonna take a look right now at what our Schoology page looks like. That way you have an idea. Uh, what the students are seeing on a daily basis when they log into the class. So I'm gonna share my screen again. And here is our Schoology page. When the students come into uh, the class, they'll be on one of two pages. They'll either be under the materials page, which is what this one is, or it might look like an updates page, which is this one. So the updates page is when I usually send out announcements. Um, I don't use it a whole lot, but it is there. Your children really only need to check materials and updates. All this other stuff, that's more for me, not so much for them. So they can look at these two pages to see what's going on. So I'll go back to the materials page because this is where the bulk of the material is. So on the materials page at the very top and always at the very top is the Zoom meeting link. If your student is 100% virtual in my um, self-contained special class or science, this is the link they would use for class. If they are absent, but they're feeling up to joining the class that day, they can use the Zoom meeting link and link right into our class for uh, their block. I have a notes folder. Obviously, the notes from each uh, class are put in here. I will organize them by folder. So chapter one notes are in here. And you can see that we've done chapter one lesson one, chapter one lesson two notes are in here. And then the Word documents are the actually guided notes that the students use on their iPads uh, to take their notes. So that'll all be in here at any given time, nice and organized by unit. Labs will go in here. We haven't done any yet, but when we do, copies of the labs will go inside of here. Classwork and homework. This is the folder that you want to pay most attention to. This has anything we do in class that is for a grade. So you can see we've had some things in here. The students just go ahead and click on them and then they can complete the assignment and submit it. It gets sent to me and then I add it to their grade book. Okay, so make sure you pay close attention to here. As we move through the units, all the stuff from unit one will be piled into a unit one folder and then we'll move on to unit two. Instructional recordings. These are recordings of myself teaching the class. That way if a student is absent or missed something, they can go ahead and click on it and then the video will be in there for them. In-class videos, these are videos I just use uh, while I'm teaching to try to help reinforce concepts that we've been discussing in class. So those will be placed in there. Again, I will put those uh, unit one once we finish up with the first unit. Opening day parent information. This is something you may want to read through uh, if you've already gotten on and, and read it. Great, thank you. If not, there's some important information in here. Uh, a lot of what was going on in the PowerPoint is uh, in here. But what I wanna really focus on is the parent Schoology sign-up. You can sign up for a Schoology account that allows you to see your students' um, classes and all the Schoology materials in there. 
Uh, it's a great way for you to kind of keep up and keep track of what your student's doing in each class. And it also allows you to see any assignments that may have been posted. So I highly urge you to take a look at this. If you have trouble getting it set up, please just let me know. I'd be more than happy to help you. Uh, so that's something that can help you kind of keep an eye on what's going on with your student. So I think that's pretty much it. <clears throat> I'm really looking forward to working with your son or daughter this year and learning lots about earth science. It's definitely been an interesting start to the year. We're kind of working our way into the uh, virtual hybrid type situation. It's nice to have students in the class, um, but I also have some that are virtual. So we're trying to do that, that double thing where we're teaching both at the same time. Uh, it's been exciting, challenging, uh, but I'm looking forward to kind of fixing things and moving on. If any of the parents from Mr. Goldberg's or Ms. Hungerford's class are watching, uh, please make sure you reach out to me if your son or daughter needs extra help. I have time in the mornings. I have time after school. Uh, I love to Zoom one-on-one -on -one and help with assignments and studying for exams and things like that. So please don't be afraid to reach out. Uh, send me an email just to, uh, you know, set up a time maybe with your son or daughter to help them through those classes as well. Uh, Earth Science, Mr. Goldberg and I have been together for seven years, uh, so I know what's going on in that room and, and what he expects. Ms. Hungerford and I, this is our second year together. It's been kind of a rough start. You know, we obviously didn't make it all through last year, and now this year we're starting out with the virtual and hybrid models. So, you know, we're working our way through it. I have done global for the past six years, uh, so I'm very comfortable with the material in that as well. Uh, so I look forward to talking to you. Uh, please, if you have any questions at any point, just shoot me an email, send me a message through Schoology, or you can go ahead and call my office phone and leave a voicemail and I'll get back to you. Thanks again for being so supportive. Uh, I look forward to working with you and with your children, and let's all have a great year together. Thanks.